Hey Chris, what's up? Um, so I tried to get all this in a comment and it wouldn't fit, so I decided to make a video. Uh, first off, congrats on getting third. It always feels really good when you start getting read correctly, and especially when you start getting read correctly on a regular basis. But um, I just wanted to tell you that I went through the same thing, you know, the engaging in hyper-masculine behavior to pass thing. And I, I also was having an issue with the fact that, you know, when I sat down and thought about it, it really does conflict with my core beliefs as well. I think somebody may have commented on this, but I'm pretty sure that it's really similar to when young boys start to go through puberty. They do the same thing in an attempt to emulate the older guys that they want so desperately to be. And in our case, I think it's an attempt to emulate the behavior of our peers. And it's really sad that this demeaning, hyper-masculine behavior is so prevalent that that's what most often gets emulated. But that's another topic for another time. Um, I still catch myself doing it around, like if I'm in a group of cis guys, that I, especially that I don't know, I'll still engage in a little bit of it. But as day, as, you know, as every day goes by, it happens less and less. And, uh, you know, you mentioned that you thought it was strange that you stop engaging in that behavior and you start getting read correctly. You know, you, you, st you start being more genuine to yourself and you start getting read genuinely. The same thing happened to me. And, you know, I guess there's just something to be said about being true to yourself, so. But, uh... <clears throat> You know, I found, as I mentioned, that the hyper-masculine behavior is eliminating itself from my behavior repertoire. Whatever. The first ones to go were the ones that were demeaning to women. Um, and I think that that's largely due to the fact that Sam made it pretty clear that that's not going to be tolerated. Um, I didn't really realize I was doing the hyper-masculine behavior until she pointed it out. So... She also, you know, she, she she let me know I was doing it and that it wasn't appreciated, but she's also the one who made me realize that it doesn't speak well for your character and that, you know, it, it doesn't really line up with my beliefs either. And that really, it only brings negative attention to you, so, yeah. And I thought, one other thing, I thought it was really interesting that you mentioned holding doors open for women, because I was brought up in an environment where men held the doors open for women as a sign of respect as opposed to what you mentioned, you know, the protection thing. And I suppose that, you know, that that fits in there somewhere, too. But, um, I've noticed more and more as I do it, there's two very polar opposite ends of the spectrum as far as schools of thought on it go. Some women really appreciate it, and some don't. And when I started doing it for my friends, they they didn't appreciate it. But as I mentioned, as the hyper-masculine behavior dropped, they're starting to see it that I'm doing it as a sign of respect. So I thought that was really interesting.